hello everyone now we are going to discuss about java oops concepts by a java crackers in previous session we discussed about what is encapsulation in this session we are going to see what is abstraction abstraction is a process of hiding the implementation details and showing only functionality to the user this mean how it happened we are going to we are not going to see and it happens that we are going to see now we will see this with this example if suppose if we tune to some channel by using remote we can see the channel is changed in tv like that is called functionality if you come to implementation if we click one button in that remote that will reach to setup box from setup box to dth one signal will go from dth to satellite and satellite to broadcasting unit here that particular channel will be tuned and the tuned channel will send back to that satellite to dth to setup box and will be changed in our tv that is implementation that implementation will not be seen by us here that that is called abstraction we are going to see the functionality of that tv remote okay in java abstraction is done with abstract class as well as by using interfaces by using abstract class we can do this abstraction up to 0 to 100% how i am telling this one is 0 to 100% in the sense if suppose if we declared one abstract class in that class abstract class may contain abstract methods or may not be contain if it doesn't contain abstract methods then the percentage of abstraction is there is will be zero if that abstract methods are available and abstract class contains completely abstract methods then that is 100% of abstraction here we will use abstract keyword in front of a class then the class will become an abstract class for interface this interface is not a class but it will be looking like class here 100% of abstraction will be available because whatever method we are going to declare here all those methods are in in internally abstract now we will see abstract class with an example see here i declared one abstract class abstract class may contain abstract methods as well as non abstract methods here we have one non abstract method and two abstract methods whenever if you declare abstract methods in a class that class should be an abstract see i am going to remove this abstract keyword yeah it shown a compilation error like this class should be an abstract okay and if you are going to extend that abstract class it should have to implement this abstract methods otherwise we have to make this class as an abstract okay now we implemented two abstract methods here car and in this car it has a property of that car and here in bus it it contains the property of a bus okay now by using this main method here we are going to declare one object by using that object we are going to get this car bus properties okay now here we got it we will be a, having a one doubt here like how abstraction happens in this abstract by using this abstract class right this abstraction is nothing but this whole code shouldn't be visible to us so what we have to do is we are going to declare one external method by using this external method we are going to access this object this object contains this properties example car bus this methods will be available if you want to get property of a car we can get it by using v object dot car by giving like that we can get that properties see i will tell you this with example here new class 
abstraction okay I declared one class here I'm going to declare for one main method main control space if you give like that we can declare main method here and I am going to declare an object for shape yes equal to new sorry we declared one object here by using this object we are going to get this object this class object sorry it is a vehicle right public uh, return object going to put return type something we have to change that one again return by using this object this will return that object this object this will return the here by using this object bus v dot car now here abstraction plays a key role see we are not able to see that code here in vehicle.java what code is available like that we are we can't see that by you by getting that object here we can call that methods that are available in this vehicle.java this is nothing but abstraction okay here abstraction plays a key role and now we are going to discuss about some rules that abstract class have if any method in class is abstract method that class should be an abstract we already discussed this an abstract method contains a method signature but no method body whenever we are declaring a method it shouldn't contain any implementation that is the meaning of this one if any class extends abstract class which contains abstract method then that extended class should have to implement abstract method or else make that child class also as abstract class we already seen that if we comment if we didn't implement that abstract methods uh, in child class the child class also we should have to make it as an abstract class okay if a class is declared abstract it cannot be instantiated why because we have some non implemented methods in abstract class nothing but abstract methods will be available we are not going to do implementation for that abstract methods so uh, this java compiler won't allow to create an object for this abstract classes object is nothing but instantiation of that classes okay now we will see interfaces this will provide 100% abstraction for an for of an class okay interface is same like a class but it will differ in declaration like this we should have to declare as a interface that interface name and this interface it will contain only constant variables as well as abstract methods if we won't declare as a constant variable or else abstract method also the JVM or else compiler will automatically treat it as a 
constant variable by adding public static final and by adding public abstract to that method it will make it as an abstract method this is nothing but compiler behavior okay and here parent child relation chart will be there if you want to get the properties of a abstract class we should have to extend that class if you want to get a normal class properties into one normal class we should have to do extends by using extends only we can get that properties if you want to get if you want to implement interface in another interface we should have to extend that one if you want to get the properties of interface into a class we should have to implement that interface this is nothing but multiple inter inheritance we can do multiple inher inheritance by implementing two interfaces okay now we will see one example for interface how it is this is the best example for interface here we declared one interface this interface only contains the methods that methods if you won't declare as an abstract also that compiler will treat it as an abstract methods okay and here i declared one class called shape this shape extends that shape container this interface and here i am going to you do implementation for that abstract methods that are declared in the interface and uh, this abstract methods has properties like if it is a circle that property is round shaped one if it is a rectangle it has four shapes four sides like this we implemented that methods for seeing the data we declared one object for that child class and by using s dot circle or s dot rectangle we can see this data see it is a round shaped one that circle that rectangle it has four sides here here also abstraction will be there if you want to see that abstraction like this we have to declare a one class and uh, we have to de declare one method to return this object by making use of that object we can uh, provide abstraction of this shape abstraction of a class for this shape okay uh, this is called inheritance and some rules is there for interface okay sorry this is called interface uh, some rules are there for interface instantiation of interface cannot be possible because constructor won't be available for interface methods in interface are implicitly abstract and public we already seen that all variables in interface are public static and final uh, these things we seen here see all the variables whatever variables we declared here that compiler will treat it as a constant variables by adding public static final to that and whatever methods we declared here that compiler will treat it as abstract methods by adding public abstract here multiple inheritance is supported in interface we will see how that multiple in inheritance is supported see here two interfaces are implemented once to this class shape okay but we didn't get any compilation error here why because here we declared methods but for that methods we didn't do any implementation here so compiler uh, won't get confused uh, it is a skeleton only so it will for this uh, methods implementation will be available in the child classes uh, because of this reason there is no ambiguity if you extend two or three classes if you extend two or three classes for that classes there will be an implementation for that methods so abstraction uh, sorry so that multiple inheritance won't support for classes okay and thank you everyone in next session we are going to discuss about polymorphism and inheritance please stay stay tuned thank you